and welcome everybody to a brand new season of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as I like to call it, CBQ. Or as I like to call it, CB Rhombist. I don't know if that works. It, it works. It's a mathematical thing. You're not there yet. Don't worry. brand new season also means a brand new set yes. this this season we are going to be opening from the silver tempest collection yes we are and there are some really awesome cards with some very good artwork on them on this particular set there's one card in particular that if you if you win if you pull it uh you're basically gonna win that's gonna be our lugia v alt art that is worth over 200 dollars, and nothing else is even close so yeah. uh here's hoping here's hoping yeah 228 dollars and 63 cents is what you're gonna get with that lugia v alt art the next highest card is gonna be the serena full art at 53.81 so you can see if you get that lugia all bets are off unless someone else pulls the lugia that's true. That's true. It could happen more than once, although it would be quite the season we're having, and I'm here for it. I am too. In the meantime, let's play the rules. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier, and you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards, and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four, plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points, times two for the energy, and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy! Everyone's favorite part of the show, I think. Are you ready? Let's do it. What will be our first type advantage of the season? Probably fire. It's gonna be... Oh, a rock is pummeling. Oh, a rock is pummeling. How very exciting. As ever. As ever. No, I always say as ever. You do say it I a lot. I say fewer as ever. It's like your crutch do you, uh, transition phrase. It is. Yeah. It is. It is the case that if you have a raucous pummeling energy card in your pack, that all of the cards in your pack will be worth double. And if you have any fighting Pokemon at all, they are worth extra points. Also, we have already pre-selected our randomly chosen common chase cards. This week, they will be Phoebus, Mischievous, and Ferrothorn. So, if you pull any of those cards in any of your packs, you get one extra point. Unfortunately, none of them line up with the Rock is Pummeling energy. That's how you can really start, like, stacking. Yeah, start compounding all of yeah. those things. But, without any further ado, Ben, let's uh, get the plastic off this thing and start breaking some boxes. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, that was the worst one yet. It worst came right one, yeah. back at it you. Came right back, yeah. So is a Phoebus like a sad Magikarp? It is like the um, it is in the same vein as a Magikarp. It also evolves into something like very big, but rather than being monstrous like Gyarados, it is melodic, which is like the most beautiful Pokemon. Oh. Yeah, but it's the same same um, gimmick. Okay, do you have any new strategies this season on how you plan to pull the cards, open the packs? Let me tell you, Ben, when I when I got this the my first box for this set, my very first pack was an alt art unknown V. Ooh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go right from the front. <laughs> right from the front. Okay, okay. Yeah. As good a strategy as any when it comes to pure randomness. Yes, I know. I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, well, I like this set. Uh, but there is a big trainer gallery in this set, which opens up the opportunity for instead of those reverse hollows, you can get the trainer gallery, so you can score big twice on a card. I think there's about a one in three chance that you get some sort of full art card in your pack. Yeah, the, the Rayquaza VMAX is uh, number 20 out of 20 on that trainer gallery and comes in at, at $43.17. Ooh. So there is some points to be scored inside of that trainer gallery. But without any further ado, player one. Here we go. First up on the season is Matt Cox. Here okay. we go. Matt Lucky. Cox is joining us from last season. Lucky number pack number one. Lucky from, number pack number one. From season two, Matt scored 13 points. Of course, yeah. none of those points transfer into season no. three. Everyone's starting at zero. But 13 points was going to have put Matt right there in the running for that uh, that Big Steve award, which which was 14 points it, last season. It was so, really so close. So razor thin. Close. Let's see. Oh, right out of the gate! Oh. Matt Cox. 
comes out swinging with the raucous pummeling energy. Oh my gosh, I told you, Ben. First pack, always good. Clay Doll's a point right there. This has been the Phoebus as a point. Oh, there we go. Everything's oh my coming gosh. in handy. Everything is coming up. The Dragon Air, that's only an uncommon. And an oh! Arcanine V, which is also of the fighting depth. So this is going to be um, an extra point on there. Let's see how much the Arcanine V is worth. Okay, let's go to number 90 on the set. Great first pack, bro. Great, Great first, first pack. pack. Okay. Unfortunately, the Arc Nine is only worth eighty-five cents, so, so it's going to round up to one. one. But it gets an extra for so being fighting, so that's two, two, three, four times two is eight points right out of the gate for Matt on. So already putting serious ground on his previous personal best of thirteen points per season. Yeah, really only needs to get that. five more in order to get a new all-time high. Well done, Matt. Way to come out of the gate swinging. Way to be a good first pack too. You know, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, very thoughtful. Consider yeah. it. All right, Ben. You, your first pack of the season is going to be for Stacy. Stacy. Okay, Stacy. Let's see what we can do here. Here's your pack. We're going to do a crack open from the top. Slice it down the middle. Mm. Set the garbage aside. Pull the code card. One, two, three, four. To the front and the flip. And oh we my have gosh. a rock is pummeling. Double rock is pummeling. Goodness great. We, for what it's worth, we do know the true name of this energy card to be Rockus Pummeling. We do, yeah. Don't let anyone fool you into thinking it's fighting. That's okay. ridiculous. All right, let's see what else we can do here. Can Stacy capitalize? Not the way that Matt did so far. Not so far, not so far. Not but, so far at oh. all. Arkin, nope, and uh, just the Reuniclus. That is going to be a one point hollow rare. Uh, and then times two for the Rockets Pummeling Energy gives Stacy a two point uh, round. Goodness gravy. I season. know. It was so exciting with that with that energy card mm. coming right off of the top. Two I was in a row. Excited. So unfortunately, as it stands right now, Jay has got the, the hot hand on the day. Yeah, that's right, that's right. See, let's see if we can uh, cash in for a 0 for 12 coming in on their first pack of the season. There we go. Now, Ben, as I open this one, I don't want to like throw 0 for 12 under the bus or anything, but we do have a brand new point scoring uh, mechanic this season. We do. We do absolutely. This was something we talked about a lot last season, and in fact, it will be arriving this season. Yes, and it is if you get one of the V-Star marker cards in your pack, that's a minus one. What? Yeah, I First know. time ever that we're going backwards on anything. You can go anything. backwards. You can go backwards. Now, you can't go below zero. You can't we'll go below zero. That. It is also worth mentioning that we have that last place award, so there is a reason why you might want to pull it. You might want to pull it. You might want to pull it. Now, so. also, speaking about last place, this is also the first season where, where we will be implementing the rule that you must have played at least two packs to qualify for last place. Right. So the, the last place could float a little bit in, in the event that we get into our, our last month of the season and yeah. people are only signed up for that first month. You have to have two packs in order to score last place. That's right. Anyway, let's see how 0 for 12 did. <gasps> Fire. So first non uh, raucous pummeling energy of the, oh, so the, the Phoebus, Phoebus. Yep. and the Fampy. Okay. Grant, the Fennec, and the Ru Oh, oh the Pacific, our first trainer gallery, and a Guard of War. So four scoring cards on the pack. Okay, let's see how the Pacific did. Another Guard of War is just going to be a single point. Right, and we'll go to the TG08 uh, to see what we have there. It's going to be 55 cents. Uh, up to so a single point. A so four points on the pack to kick off, but a really beautiful trainer gallery card. There. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, that is really exciting. I do love the fact that the Pokemon Company has done this, where you have like some cards that just get to be beautiful, uh, and, and some of them are in fact quite valuable as well. But it's also like it adds like an extra layer in there. It's like you Something got a fun else. pack. Exactly, exactly. exactly. You still got a fun pack. All right, next up, Ben is Alfion. Alf Alfion. Okay, let's see what we can do for you with the uh, that Volpix on the cover there. Is there a reason that it's a like a like a cold looking Vulpix? Oh, that is a an Alolan Vulpix. It's no. actually an ice type. Okay, okay. Yeah. Who's gonna be the first to get the V Star card? Ben, you get that negative one. I know. Look at this fire! Fire again! Look, they're so, like back to back. I know. Back, I'll, be curious. I'll be curious. I'll be curious. That's gonna get there you, you one. The Solosis. Oh, I think I see something oh, peeking out back oh, there. Oh, oh the Radiant Alakazam. Alakazam! That's fun. That is really cool. Yeah, this okay. set has a few new Radiant cards. And, and oh, oh, the, the Omastar v. v. Okay, I'm betting, sadly, that even though you have two pretty cool-looking pulls there, that these are neither going to be super valuable. I think we looked ahead of time. Only the Radiant Jirachi is worth actual like, extra points. Yeah, so the uh, the Radiant Alakazam is so close at 91 cents, but uh, doesn't quite tick over 
And let's check number 35 there. Also, it's actually worth even less. So 69 cents. Oh, no. So, two really cool cards in the pack, but only a three-point pack for you today there. Off yon. Off yon. Well, uh, These are headed your way no matter what. There you go. There you go. Enjoy. Well done. Well played. Next up, we have Hannah. Hannah. Hannah coming in. Uh, last season, landed herself at seven points. Seven points, okay, Seven points. Not, so not, not bad, not, not a great bad. showing. You, you know, know, but like everybody's gotta have their rookie season, kinda like like dust off some of the jitters. Exactly. You know, I feel like I feel like Hannah really was decided to like have season season three mm. be like the coming out part. Right, yeah, so here we go. Eyeball energy off the top. Let's see the Arkin, the Pharisee, the Pikachu. Not looking like oh, the, oh another radiant card there, radiant Serena and the, the Milotic. Mil okay, there okay. you go. I always want to call it Milotic. Milotic. I mean, Milo it could be. I'm always bad at the pronunciations. I think that's going to be a two point yeah. pack there. We can double check the Serena. But this is really interesting. I feel like we're having a lot of like um, like mirror behavior in the pack pulls. Like, yeah, you know, you're we've right. Had, we've had two raucous pummeling energies, two fire energies, two radiance. Yeah, like so there is there is like a weird symmetry to the set. So, so. maybe what's going to happen is two people are going to pull that Lugia V alt art. <laughs> yeah, there'll be two in one box. Like, that would be wild. That would be wild. I, that's unheard of. That would be breaking the... That, the box would be officially broken. Officially. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we need to pull off. All right, there. next up we have C-Mac. C-Mac. Sometimes I feel like I'm good at this, and other times I feel like I'm like I like struggle. Well, because like, you want to like get in the center. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. We really want to like make sure you guys are able to get like the best possible view. One, two, three, four. No V star yet, but it's coming. It's you know coming. it's coming. Oh, oh what? I eyeball again. These are. It's like it's this like is matched. weird. This is weird. Okay. Unfisk. Oh. Dragapult. So that is which a is rare. A star. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So that will at least get you a scoring point and talent flame. Talon flame. So That's only two points. Two on point the pack. pack. But you're on the board. But you're on the board, ready to go, and uh, at, at present in decent position for uh, last place. So our uh, first, uh, our first pack, Matt Cox, is still our leader on the day. I know. How about that? Points. Yeah. So we opened. We opened strong. You yes, knew it was coming. You, you predicted knew, it. I told you. First pack, man. First pack pull. But let's see. Now we have Jeremy Fisher, who I believe is a brand new patron this month. Brand new patron. Brand new so patron. Jeremy has. We don't. We don't know anything about Jeremy's like pull rates at the moment. We what, have no idea. What Jeremy's known for. No what Jeremy history. likes. Yeah. Is he gonna come out swinging? Is he gonna have a raucous pummeling? No V star. So that's something. Boom. Metal energy Metal right out of the energy. gate. All right. Let's see what you got, Jeremy. Pikachu. Oh, I see something peeking out back there. Do you? Yeah, okay, okay. I do. Dratini. Oh, double oh, that Dratini. Is the double dragon. And. Oh! oh! The gold rare gape jaw bog. Oh, and it has a stunky on it. I don't oh, know if you can see it right there. That is really cool. That is super cool. What oh number is that in the set? Going to be 213? 213. First gold rare of the day. Okay, there you go. And that's going to be, it is a secret rare. $6.40 on that one. It'll round up to seven. Seven. Uh, and that is that's, your, that's the only oh, scoring so point. Even though they have the gold rare gape jaw bog. Uh, that is not enough for first place. It is second place right now. How about that? Still about, the most exciting pull. Definitely a very cool card. Very cool I, card. I don't so let's think I've seen this one. Let's hope. Let's hope that this this mirroring behavior okay. continues. Are we gonna get another gold rare now? It would be very interesting. <coughs> it would, would be, be. It would be a fun twist for the box itself. It would. It'd be like we have like this unusual box. Is this Big Jake? Big Jake. No way. Yeah. Fun fact, he's a photographer. Does AV work for his church? So Big Jake, not related to Big Steve of the Big Steve Award. No. However, just as big. I can see Big Steve's name coming up on the charts here, too. All right. Let's, let's see. see here. Double gold rares. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh, oh no! Oh, it's the mirroring has stopped. It's our first minus one on the day. Our first minus one. So uh, we're uh, yeah, we're gonna keep. That's a scoring card. Okay, event. that's a scoring card. That's a good yeah. point. That's a good point. Okay, let's make sure I did this right now. Um, as as we go through. Okay, so the stone, stone generator. So that'll point. at least the ferrothorn's a point too. Okay, yep. There you go. There you the go. The Phoebus is a point. Okay. So we're like we're we're getting our way back into. I'm glad you're paying attention right yeah. now because I am like I'm so I'm so, so thrown. thrown off. The, uh, the, the new mechanic. The Fungus. Okay, and... Oh, the the Lilligant. Lil Lil so we so. have uh, four one-point cards and one minus one point, so that's going to give you three points on the day, but you're also the first person to ever get to take a, to experience the negative one. The neg... I know. Very exciting. What an honor. We'll keep what that. What an honor. We'll send it to you, too, so I know. you can yeah, we'll, we'll include it. one yeah. point. <laughs> oh, man. Way to, way to, you know, break ground for everyone else. 
Next up is Jupiter Fox, who came in, oh, they were in contention for Big Steve last season with 12 points. 12 points, so close. So close yeah. to that 14 that they needed. They did, but they didn't get it. Maybe they'll do it this time. In Wordsworth, we keep saying 14, but it, it is floating. So the, big floating. Steve, the Big Steve award depends on how Big Steve does, and I'm pretty sure the guys in the back told us that Big Steve is in today's lineup. So yeah. we will get an idea of where <gasps> Big Steve, oh ben! no! Jupiter Fox! The oh, box no. of doubles! Box what of is double. going is, on? This is so weird. I've never eerie. seen it's this eerie. before. Let's see, I don't know if I did it right now. You're right. Did I did I do it backwards? I think you're okay. I think you're okay. Find out. Well, uh, I can tell I did it wrong, but there is something good back there. So it's gonna it's all gonna work out. Okay. The Litten, the Chin Shoe, the Pet Lo Oh, there we go! The Trainer Gallery Cricketoon V. That's exciting. And, oh, and oh the no way! Sealstone. Okay, so the Forest Sealstone is unique this season, and that is the only non full arc card besides the Radiant Jirachi that is worth more than a single point. And it's it's actually like I mean it's still you know it's two dollars and ninety cents. So a three point card. It's a three point card. That's like pretty strong. Yeah. On the whole, for a card that's not like a full art. So that's that's three points. Uh, and then if we do Cricketune V for the Trainer Gallery. That's number 12. Uh, is going to come in at $4.19. Wow. So, so that's a $5 card. So five we're up to point eight, eight points total. Minus one. So seven points on the pack. Honestly, that was a very interesting pack. That was an interesting pack. Man, that's so close to taking the lead, too. But the V-Star keeps them the out of first place. It's already, it's already striking. It is. It's already it's striking. It's doing its thing. Okay, okay. The Forest Steel Stone is a pretty cool card, though. It allows any V Pokemon to have a V-Star power, and that V-Star power is you can search your deck for any one card. Okay. Which is pretty good. It's very competitive. That's why it's worth a little bit extra. Next up is Tyler Gillies. Ben, what do you got for us? What's this mirror box doing? I know, I know. Yeah, what, what will be the mirror of that pack? Because yeah. so far, we've, we're just seeing stuff back to back to back, carrying from one to the next. I'm really having a time with my opening today. I almost knocked over the wheel of energy. I know, I know. All right, so we'll take that guy off the back. One, two, three, four, and we'll give it a flip. Okay. Not what, isn't that, was it? No, because I just had the V-Star. But you before did. that. Okay, but before that, before that, okay. Let's see here. Phoebus. Phoebus, okay. We'll take that. Yep, yep, we'll take that. And the nine, nine tails. tails that and is, that is, no, just diamond. Okay. And the incineroar. So it looks like a three point pack here. Three for point pack. <laughs> this is a pretty funny looking card. Look, he's got like a like a little snot bubble or he something does. coming out there. Got a little okay. snore bubble. A little snore bubble. That's adorable. That's just a snore bubble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'll say now instead of adorable. It's a snore bubble. A snore bubble. All right, next up, Ben. Big crowd favorite here. It's Afro Punk. Afro Punk, longtime player in the game. Finished last season with 18. Very respectable points. Very respectable. Very respectable. Very competitive yeah. player coming out today. Very consistent player as well. If so, I could get their pack open. I know. I said maybe they've been sealed funny, funnily. Here we go. I wonder if at the Pokemon Card Factory there's ever a day where they're just like, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Messed with them. Like take take one off the line, fill it with a whole bunch of interesting things. Yeah, right. Boom. All right, so no rock is pummeling since that first one. Palisan scores for you. Sandy Gas yeah. scores for you. Uh, Halucha uh, scores for you. The Duosion does not, uh, and the Verizion does. So, so four points. something out of nothing. That is a four-point pack, kind of out of nowhere. Kind of out of nowhere, a kind of unexciting pack, but definitely uh, love to see all those game mechanics finding their way in. I know, so four points. I mean, that honestly puts you like pretty near the top. I think you're in fourth place right now. Right, yep, just about. As it is right now, though. We have a long way to go, obviously. Long way to go. Boom. Uh, this is going to be, oh my gosh, what is it? S'more. <gasps> Smubbles? Hang on. Smubbles. Well, let's just make sure we got it right. It says like s'mores and bubbles. Smubbles. 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 Okay. Smubbles. Welcome to the game. Definitely a new player who we have not seen before. Smubbles as a name, kind of a snore bubble. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. 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 I see right there. Yeah. Oh, right. it's, it's catching on. It's catching on. I will say, so we, I'm excited to see the new players because we have the largest pool of players we've ever had this season. We do. We do. We will actually, mm -hmm. we're up to the point where we will have um, three episodes per month. Yes. So we will be opening up throughout the course of the season if the current uh, patronage continues 267 packs. Woo! Across the whole season, so lots of lots of opening going to be going on over here. Fierce competition. Fierce competition. Yep. So let's take a peek. 
playing Emergency Jelly. Hey, Jelly! I like some Emergency Jelly. That sounds delicious. Right? The Ooh, Vampy, Tampy the scores. the point, yep. Watching the chime echo. Lance! Lance. And... The oh. Zygarde. So just a sad two-point pack there. Maybe, maybe Smubbles is going to be there in uh, contention for that last place prize, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's a quest. It's, it's a, a journey. journey. You know? Everyone's playing the game differently. We're not here to judge how you want to play the game. Right. Your yeah. tactic is your own, and exactly. definitely not random at all. Not at all. Next up we have Matthias, who uh, is coming in. This is going to be their first full season. Last time they only got two packs. Matthias is another one who I would say in season two, a little bit slow to open up. But again, I think you gotta like dust off that rookie season. Yeah, you and know you what? Show up today with you get a the nice jitters out. Rock is pumped. No, oh, oh, if man. only. Yeah, if only. It. So you gotta try to call it sometimes in the event that it happens. Yeah, and then it's worth it. And then it's worth it. But so far, nothing in this one. Relicant and oh, oh! the Regi Lucky V Max. There we go. We said it. We you gotta shake off them jitters. Pull out your big V Max Pokemon. Uh, this is one that is featured right here on the top of the box. Regi Lucky V Max. Okay, so it is a very beautiful card. It's a very exciting card. Yeah. It is worth $2.40 and three points. That is mind-boggling to me. So the big uh, like competitive card to come out of the set is Lugia and Lugia V-Star. Um, the Regilecki is meant, meant to be the counter to it because Lugia is weak to lightning. This boosts the power of your lightning cards. Uh, it, doesn't, it hasn't been working that way on the competitive scene at all, so it's probably accounting for its uh, low value there. But either way, very cool card. You can definitely play a deck like Next up, Zach. Zach! Zach, Zach, who came in late last season, only scored a single, or a, 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 a low three points. A low three points. Okay. I bet they can outdo their whole season right here. Right here, right now? Right here, right now. You, you're just calling your shot, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's take a peek. One, two, three, four, to the front. We'll do the flip and, okay. Wait, uh, another dark, though. How about that? How about that? The mirroring continues. Let's see. Okay, the so that's the point. Yeah, there we go. Big Chew, Pat Lowe, the Clank, the Whalmer. I was gonna. I'm gonna be wrong. I'm gonna be wrong. Oh, oh the, the Rapidash. Rapidash. So it's actually only a two point pat overall. That is a bummer. The Rapidash is semi competitive though. It uh, kind of like that Regilecki boosts the power of your Fire type Pokemon. And it has been seeing a, a little bit of play, maybe in more like side decks, but it's getting in there. It's getting, it's, it's been, it's been on some YouTube thumbnails. There you go, there yeah. you go. Yeah, I like it, I yeah. like it. You can watch videos about it. Uh, next up, we have Jordan D. This is me? I think it's you. Uh -oh. Did I just open the Rapid Ash just yeah. now? Yeah. That was me? That was you. I was there. Yeah. Wasn't it? Tonight? Was it? It probably was. Now things are going crazy. Who's to say? Play the tape. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna challenge flag up in here. All right, boom! Oh, wow, I definitely did it wrong, but there you go, you have that V card. I never did the count wrong, that's my bad. Uh, no, okay, so there was your energy. No, um, rock is pummeling there for you. Let's see if you got anything else. The Elgam, the Fungus, and the Fion. So, no, you did not. Oh, but the Fion is, uh, is a star. Oh, it yeah, is. Yep, yeah, so it's worth two. Two, two po oh no, I'm sorry, let me check. We should double check Every, the unknown. Everything about what's going on right now, we're breaking at the seams. We'll check number 65 on the set, just to be doubly sure, it's gonna be worth 73 cents. So uh, it is in fact a two point pack on fact. Now, the day. There is an alt art unknown V though, that is among the top three cards in the set. It is a very pretty it's card. It's very cool. We have pulled it in house, and I can tell you that it is, it is awesome looking. Um, competitive? Yeah, not so much, but uh, you can put it on your shelf though. That you could, and we have. So <laughs> <laughs> next up, we have Big Steve. Oh boy, this is exciting because now we have something to base the leaderboard on, kind of, because obviously it'll be a moving target as the season goes. But as a reminder, uh, how the Big Steve Award works is that at the end of the season, whoever is directly in front of this player, Big Steve, will win the Big Steve Award and an Elite Trainer Box, which is the award for last place, quality eighth place, and the Big Steve Award. Of course, you're referring first place at the end of the season, you get a full booster box. 36 packs and a full booster box. Yeah. So it's, it is a heckin' prize for it is. sure. Plus whatever cards you pulled to land you in first. So. Exactly yeah. that as well. <laughs> yes, right. Uh, so right out of the gate, no double for Big Steve on no the day. Double. So that's, right. um, we'll see here. We'll see how everything else goes. So 
Uh, not looking so good so far for Big not Steve here. Not looking so good so far. Uh-oh, oh, but the Druda got... This is the... Uh, look, I know, Steven, this is the very card he wanted to pull from this set. No way! Yes, I think he already has it, but that we pulled it in his pack is unbelievable. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. And, uh, okay. Okay, so let's check the Druda gun, though. Okay, we'll check, we'll, check, we'll check it. Number nine on the trainer gallery. We'll take a peek just to see how it does. It's going to be 96 cents, oh. so it doesn't exactly tick you over, so... Two points two for points the Big, for Big Steve, Steve Award. So we've got some people sitting at three points right now. I know. So there are people who are currently sitting in position to potentially win, although there are a lot of packs left to be opened throughout the course of the season, so we'll just have to wait and see. Yes. So um, he's going to think that's hilarious that that's what he pulled, though. Anyway, next up is Lauren, who came in gun swinging last time at 27 points to round out the season. Uh, how was how was Lauren going to do this season, though? Extremely you well. You think so? You think it's like a repeat performance? There is something really bizarre and unusual. We keep talking about how it's complete randomness. Like, we have no control over who opens what or how it happens, and everything is completely random from start to finish. And yet the people who pull, like, higher numbers seem to consistently pull higher numbers, and so I can't yeah. explain it. This is a good card. Olga, Meditite, Durant, Ralt, Sunflora, and, well, oh, then you might have been wrong about that I one. You might have been wrong. You might have been wrong because this might be our new last place person with just a single point. Just a single point. Single okay. point impact for Lauren. It is worth pointing out that the Serena, the alt art full, or, yeah, the, the alt art, art, yeah, the full art Serena, rather, uh, is the second highest uh, valued car in this, card in this set. Yeah. So, um, I mean, at least that was in there. It's peeking out. Just like a glimmer of, of the, like, the potential that Lauren the potential. does bring to the table right. whenever whenever playing a round of box breakers. Hopefully someone's going to pull that full art, Serena. As I well. would love to see it. It would be yeah. really cool. So what I, next up is John Munyon. John Munyon. John Munyon. This is his first full season. Came in midway last time. Okay, okay. We haven't had a raucous pummeling here in a while. We came out of the gates literally... Fist swinging. We were swinging. Yeah. We were swinging. Yep, that's enough. Hitting there. again. I know. This is this really is the unusual. weirdest box. And the thing is that nobody else probably would ever pay attention to it. Yeah, no. You know, it's like it's just these very specific circumstances that we've laid out that it's like something is weird. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. I've done the Solosis, the Relicant. There's the Halucha point. There you go, yeah. Okay. The Rapidash. Oh, that so that's a star, point. so that's a point. And, and the Clink Clang. So there you go. It's going to be a three point box for John Munyon. Got that lovely uh, Reverse Hollow Rapidash in there. So, you know, boost up your fire type Pokemon. Get out there. Win some games with some Entei. And this pack is headed your way. Yeah. All right, next up, Emily Stock. E Stock. E Stock. Coming in. Has, has this. this uh, I think this is Emily's first season. I think it is Emily's first season. Yeah, yeah. entering entering the game. We know Emily from other Patreons across the the SCB fandom. Yes, we do. Uh, Emily, big supporter of SCB in general. And she comes out with the raucous public energy. Oh my gosh! Let's see how is Emily going to do. We've got the Dedenne, the Quad Stem, the Morpeko. So far, nothing else to capitalize on with her with her big fighting. And, oh, Ooh, okay, okay. and that's a star, so that's at least two points. And the Fion, which is a star. Oh, but this well. is this is gonna be worth two points times two, right? Because it's fighting right, and it's, a star. Yep. So that'll get you to four points, five, six. Yeah, so six, six points. points for Emily. Honestly, based on the way the rest of the pat the rest of the box is gone, six points is pretty solid. Yeah, so far that's gonna put you in a rather competitive position as we push forward. So good use of the rock is pummeling as well, good capitalization on what is otherwise a, a kind of less than thrilling pack. Indeed. Alright, next up we have Chris Ray! Chris Ray! Alright. Chris Ray, huge wrestling fan, so you'd think they're gonna try and grab that uh you would think. You would think. And yeah. if the mirroring has done anything, has been consistent at all, you'd think this would be it again. You would think, and it would just be like, boom! Oh my gosh! It. <laughs> this box is weird, you it's guys. It's blowing my mind in a way that like is so irrelevant in so many ways. It is so it's not. Like, yeah. It's like such a non-factor unless you're playing this game. And Chris Ray is playing this game, and uh, they're a fan of wrestling. And oh they cash gosh. in on the so rock. Okay, there we the go. That's, so two points there. there. Yep. 
snoring. Nothing. nothing. Snoring and oh, the skunk tank. tank! Oh man! Tell you what, there's an alt art skunk tank in this set though. That is awesome. Let's see. Uh, let's see how this one goes. Yeah, number one oh eight. A lot of times with these V's. Yeah, so fifty seven cents. Oh no! So you're gonna get. Uh, let's see here. A total two, of four points. Two, it was four points for Chris Ray. Got the Roxas pummel and couldn't cash it. And even got a V card, but couldn't cash it with something a little bit bigger. But either way, it's always fun when you get anything where the whole card is, is an image. Gun you know? Tank. Gun Tank is a channel favorite, though. If it is watching indeed. watching the Nuzlocke, indeed. people love Noel the Gun Tank. Mm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. All right, next up, we have John. 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 Here we go. J-O-N. Kind of like how you, John. Oh, like I had John. Yes, you, J O N, the correct spelling. Yeah, spelling. you don't J O H N. No, yeah, yeah. People try and abbreviate Jonathan J O H N. Incorrect. Also, if you're spelling Jonathan J O H N, incorrect. Unless you do, in which case, well, that's up to you. You don't. You don't know. <laughs> ch ch change your name. Strongly. Strong feelings. All right. Next up, let's see. John has the fire energy coming out. All right. The first of okay, the Don go. fan scores. Ball pick, drowsy. Crowless. Mischievous. Oh, the Mischievous is one of our oh, uh, oh, oh, common oh, oh. chase cards. Wow, you're right. Good catch. Thank Bring you. that down. And the Crowbat. Crowbat. So that's going to be a three point. Three pack. point pack for John. All right, but next up we have Annika. 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 Oh, wow, good stuff. Annika. That's good. Now, we, have the, we have the phonetic pronunciations on we there do, for yeah. a reason. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. Adding to Annika's collection. One, two, three, four. No V star in a while the, either here. And the fire. the fire. This is there is like an There's absolute pattern there happening. There is something happening. Okay. So Palo Sand yeah, scores. Gotcha point. Toxico so, Chameco. Can we get any more points from the pack? Let's see. Capturing Capturing aroma. aroma and oh, oh, the Arcanites. So really just a two point pack there. Nothing too fancy for Annika this time around. But you know what? There's always next time and then the time after that as well. And the time after that. And then then we'll start over. I think we'll have already started over by your after that. That yeah. was three after that. So. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah, we'll have already started. <laughs> Never mind. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. But you know what? We have our next player on the season, Ayesh. 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 All right. Now, Ayesh, if I am not mistaken, came out guns blazing. They had a three-point pack last season, followed by a 34-point pack. So they're coming off of a really hot pack. A real, yeah, yeah, like a whole whole bunch of like good quality, uh, like pulling. But have they cooled off? Maybe a little. Maybe a little. High ball energy, but maybe not. Who's to say? We'll find out by the end of this pack. Swirlix, the Rotar, the Dreepy, uh, and uh, Togunamaru. Boom! Oh, oh, they team. appear to have cooled off hard. Used a lot of energy pulling those 37 points last time. Now coming in with a single, single point, but... Good for last place. Good for last place. Must you can always fingers crossed for that V star. That's right. You can even lose that point if you wanted to. That's right. You can, man. I don't even. Well, it'd be hard. It would be hard at, once you've scored a point. I guess yeah, you can't. You can't really get to zero because you always get one point per pack, bare minimum. Bare minimum. Yeah. yeah. So now, too late. You can't get zero zero. Huh, embarrassing. Embarrassing. But you could stay at one. <coughs> Next up, we have Ellie. Ellie. One of my all-time favorite characters from the Pixar universe <laughs> is a young Ellie. Mm. Now, Ellie's birthday is on St. Patrick's Day, so you'd think they're kind of like born a little lucky. A little bit extremely lucky. Yeah. yeah. And they did do 19 points last season, so, so pretty good. So, oh, okay. I have all energy. I have all energy. It's happening. The Meow Stick, Gym Trainer, Spinda, Pikachu, Noibat, Sandile, Togodomaru. There's so many Togodomaru's. Okay, and ready? Ready. Uh-oh. It's something. <sighs> Oh, it is the this full is R Superior V. That's a fun. It's a very nice looking card. That is a very nice looking card. Let's see what we got here. So let's yeah, see. Let's see. We'll check number one seventy on the set. I always like when we get to go to the pages to see what's going on. So it means something fun is happening. Number one seventy is worth four dollars and thirty one cents. Rounds oh, up to five points on the pack. So. Honestly, pretty solid. This seems like a lower scoring set overall. So far, so far. But there's always that possibility of somebody just pulling something that just goes absolutely berserk. Absolutely berserk. Maybe it'll be Gandalf. Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. The the White Wizard. The literal Gandalf. The literal Gandalf. Not some, not the actor who played. Gandalf. No, the, the Ag Gandalf. Right, the one. Yeah. The only. The white. Run, fools. Run. 
Doesn't he say that? I think so. Yeah. Let's see. How is Gandalf the White going to do? They've got well, kind of like the most, the most white that, yeah, it's energy true. you That's could true. have. Yeah, okay. So, oops, Stone Jenner scores. Sandy Gas scores. Okay. Halucha scores. scores. Verizion scores. And Miss Mega scores. So that's a five point pack for Gandalf. What a ridiculously hard fought wow. five point pack. That's how he plays, man. That is how he plays, you know. He is not messing around. Doesn't matter how you score those points, as long as you get them. Exactly. In the end. And he did. And he did. There we go. All right, next up we have Data Rage. Data Rage. Data oh, Rage. man. Long time patron. Is this her first? I, I believe so. And uh, Data Rage is one of our mods over on our Discord server, which uh, if you sign up as a Box Breakers uh, patron, you do have access to the Super Carlin Brothers Discord. So yeah. uh, just all the more reason, you know. It's there. just like oozing benefits, basically. Yeah. Three. Oh, oh no. Data Rage. Data Rage could run the numbers on this. <laughs> you know what this means? Probably the next person's getting it too. It probably does mean that. It probably does mean that. Okay, all right. Now let's see what we can do for Data. See if we can't clog our way back into some some point scoring potential. Or will Data be the first person to get zero points? Oh my gosh. Ah. She would love that, I bet. I, it's I, a, it's a, like an outlier stat. It is an outlier. Yeah. In there, yeah it, we call them Data because... <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh -oh, the swab blue, and I'm hoping for it. Oh my god! Oh, it is! She gets a zero! Oh no! <laughs> oh man, Data Rage, our first zero point score ever! Wow. Congratulations! You're welcome. You're, it, the, you're in school, you're in winning, you're in a winning position right now. You are in a winning position right now. Like, yeah. at this point in time, someone does have to have a certain amount of luck to outpace your. Your yeah. low score. Your low score. So there you go. That's hilarious, especially because it's one of our mods. I promise it's not rigged in any way. Next up, we have Brian Liv, the, uh, the couple of Brian and Olivia. The couple of Brian and Olivia. Yeah, yes. so this is, a, this is a duo, you know, double the luck. Double right. the, double your flavor, double your fun, something. I don't know. I'd be curious if we get that other V-Star. Oh my gosh, you're right. You're right. Will there be another V star in here for the negative one? Because then they wouldn't it be so funny with back to back zeros. It would be. It would be. Oh. Okay, it's not there. Okay, okay, okay. okay so okay. we do have an energy card. It's water. Teardrop. Teardrop. The Arkin. The Clay. The Clay doll scores a point. Scores the the Fampy scores a point. Boy, here we the go. The Mischievous scores yeah. a point. Oh, oh there we go. The full Flappy. Our Flappy. Pretty competitive card too. Got that Dyna Motor ability. That's won me some tournaments. And our Maldo, which is also. Um, uh, gonna score an additional point. point. Yeah. Yes. Right. For being a fighting yeah, energy. Yeah. Two. So that's two points. Three, four, five, plus whatever the Flappy is. Okay. So we're at five. We'll check TGO three. Uh, Flappy is going to be worth one dollar twenty. So rounds up to two points. So, so seven, seven points on seven. the back. Man. Super competitive. Play. Still nobody has beaten Matt. Our very first pack of the day. How about that? What are the? Uh, I, you know what? But I called it. You did. I told you. You did. First you, pack. You said it from the beginning. I do love this card. Dude, it, me too. It is a, It is very uh, a snore bubble. Uh, yeah, agrees. Yeah, yeah very yeah. snore bubble. All right, next up is Robbie Cruz. Robbie Cruz. Robbie Cruz, who's learning to have a better season than last time. Came in with just six points on the season. Uh... Last for Lost Origin. Well, the guys in the back feel good about this pack. Do they? They do. They okay. do. Yeah. They've been quiet for most of today, which makes <laughs> sense because it's been a quiet day. It has. We had that gold gate job bog. We did. Yep. 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 So apparently it's time for something. Yep. We've had a couple of a couple of nice looking pulls, but no high dollar abuse pulls. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So with the flip. Bam. Oh, okay. And the metal energy. Okay. Let's okay. See what the guys in the back have for you, Ben. We'll see. We'll see. They've. Right. See they I don't know if they've been wrong before. They've been right before. That's true. So far, so far, they're seeming a little off their game. Oh, the Archeops. This is actually, this goes with the Lugia V-Star. It's like, the deck is Lugia Archeops. This, so this is a very key component in that. Surprisingly not worth more than a single point, but let's, let's see. see. And oh no! Oh, it's the Neuvern. Oh, the Neuvern. So mm -hmm. just a two-point pack. The guys in the back, I'm going to have to call it in with them because yeah. that is just not the type of performance I expect no. from them That's on a daily basis. It's embarrassing for them, really. All right, next up is Elizabeth Hare, brand new patron on the season, here to play some Silver Tempest Ball, as no G one G says. Did you say 
Hair to play. <laughs> Hair to play. Hair to play. That's right. All right. Here we go, Elizabeth. Uh, we'll be here all day. All month even. All month even. Yeah. How can we do? You know, my wife's name is Elizabeth. That's true. Yes, yeah, it's a good name. It's a good name. Yeah, good, 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 good strong name. Dark. We've only had we had four raucous pummelings, right? I believe so. That sounds yeah. that sounds about Absolutely right. Absolutely, we did. Uh, identified. Fossil, the Solosis, the Krogar. This is not looking like a great pack overall. An eyeball energy would have crushed. It would. On if only. Wow. I would say, great job getting a single point, but Data Rage came to play and scored a solid goose egg on it. A me. solid goose yeah, egg. She put up the egg, and uh, now we're all having to deal with the consequences of that. So, Elizabeth. Well done. You got a single point on the pack, and now we're on to our final pack of the day, Hyrotis. Hyrotis. Here we go. All right, Hyrotis. Let's see what we can do for you on our last pack of the day. We had a good, strong start to the day. Yes. Was it Matt? Matt Cox who Matt started Cox. the day off yep, so strong. The day. So it's it's very interesting. You know, if you're Matt, you're sitting there, and it's like we're in we're in stoppage time. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like the end of the game, basically. Basically. Everybody's just passing the ball around. Mm -hmm. And you're like, fingers crossed. I could be sitting atop that leaderboard. I could be sitting pretty. But maybe not. But maybe not. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see. Shoo! Okay, okay teardrop water. energy. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we can do. The quad stone, more pico, capturing aroma. Fanopy Fan scores. Yep. Okay. And Fanopy. What did, you, what did I say? I said Fanopy. Oh, ha! How embarrassing oh, for you. Oh, man. The, the, the mischievous scores. Score, the... Okay. The Glalie does not. And, and oh. the Frost last. So there you go. Matt Cox escapes round one as the leader with eight points, fending off a few seven-point players as well. And then, of course, down there at the very bottom, we have uh, Data Rage with her impressive zero points. And what did Big Steve get? Two? I believe so. So a bunch yeah. of people in contention there's, for the Big Steve. There's a whole bunch of like very interesting pieces that are being like laid out for the rest of the season. This so you're gonna have to gonna have to continue to tune in, keep your eyes peeled, watch and see how everybody competes uh, through the the beginning wave here of yeah. season three. And it's not too late to sign up to get in on the Silver Tempest competition. Uh, if you want to get over to uh, Patreon.com/slash/SuperHarlandGaming and sign up for the Box Breakers tier, you too can get a couple of packs from Silver Tempest. It is filling up fairly quickly. I've been very excited to see like as we get like closer and closer to a world where we have weekly yeah. episodes also once the entire pack is filled out uh if, if you'll notice over on the patreon we have different element types yes. that you can be signing up for so fire water grass electric yes and once we've completely filled out there will be a new game we will also have. to be played where yeah. you will be competing as a team with the rest of your teammates yes you may have noticed that all the cards we're writing on are multicolored those represents the teams people are already on waiting for the team competition to start so our next milestone that we can hit is like to cross the 100 player mark we are pretty close i think we're only like 10 away we're, we're very close we're very we're narrowing close. it in very quickly also for for that last place award, we do have the new rule stipulation, which is that you must have at least two packs on the season. And in order to have two packs for season uh, three, you will just need to sign up by December 31st yes. in order to get in on the January opening. Exactly. Otherwise, you will have missed that opportunity. There you go. One last time, guys. It's going to be patreon.com slash Gaming. Link is in the description below. Otherwise, until next time, bye!